Good morning, world. I wanted to talk to you about uh, two things. How to deal with haters. Um, the answer is no answer. Hmm. Now, I come from a uh, very scrappy <laughs> method of getting... Uh, I'm not doing this anymore, but... It took years to get over this uh, challenging people when they were being haters to me. But guess what? The answer is no answer. So lately I've been and executing this. Um, when people have suggestions for me, uh, latest uh, when I'm shooting, this doesn't happen to male photographers. <laughs> Only women, people who have very little experience are standing on the sidelines when I'm doing an actually paying job telling me how to do it. So the last time that happened, it was about a year ago, I didn't even look at the person. I didn't respond. I was too busy actually shooting and getting what I needed to get to stop and deal with his comments. But he got the message loud and clear and ended up apologizing to me. Um, and that was really significant for me to see that. No answer. I didn't have time to answer. And I realized that I don't have time to answer any of these haters on my YouTube channel um, who say stupid things. You know, I can just block them <laughs> if they get to be a nuisance. But the thing is, the deeper thing is, when you're doing something that's rebellious or something that maybe someone is jealous of you know like I get a lot of oh I wish I had your life traveling you must be rich no actually I plan I save money I uh I make it important I make it a priority and I just do it um I put on my sneakers and I go so you know don't let yourself be held back by people that, and they can be friends and family, that because they're not doing it, they don't want you to do it. It challenges them in a way that you don't need to be a part of. No answer. Um, and it applies to everything. Personal, business, absolutely every relationship that you can think of. So, we didn't come here to listen to people tell us that we can't do things. Uh, when I first started traveling, all the really amazing things that I've done, um, people told me I couldn't do <laughs> when I think of it. Um, except having a baby. That's the only thing that I can think of I've done that was amazing. Um that no one told me, oh, you can't do that. But everything else I've done that was fun, travel. When I first started traveling um, at age 49, uh, people thought I was crazy. Then I sold everything, all my belongings, when I was in my 50s, a couple of years later, and had no, uh, I went traveling around the world, teaching, writing books, leading projects, volunteering, having a blast. People thought I was crazy. There's a lot of women doing it now, but when I started, there weren't. Um, so when you're ahead of the game and people don't realize it yet, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if they don't realize it. Save your breath, keep going, and don't even answer the people that are doubting you or telling you you can't do it. Just... Don't even bother. It takes too much energy. I'm finally learning that now, and I'm happy to say that no answer is the best way to deal with a lot of situations. You may already know this, uh, but I'm from New York, <laughs> and I grew up in a big family, so when the older sisters tried to push me around, I would not take it. But it makes you scrappy. But the problem is you can get into this having to explain yourself thing and I don't, I'm not doing that anymore. 
and I think it's great. It's a lot less uh, antagonistic. It's more relaxed. It's more peaceful. So I don't have to explain myself to anyone. And, um, you know, I was listening to Lily sing this morning. She's the uh, only woman with the late night show, except for Chelsea Handler. But I think she switched up her show. Anyway, on late night, and she came from having a YouTube channel. And, you know, you can start doing something different. I think a lot of times you start doing something totally different because of coming from a place of uh, not being happy with what, how your life is going so that's what she was saying she started her channel being sad about you know where her life was going and I, it made me think it you know a lot of times I've switched up my life because actually I started traveling because my life was not what I wanted it to be and I wanted to try something new and I always had a heartfelt feeling about traveling and not traveling by anyone else's rules but my own. It's funny when people have suggestions for me about where to go. I really never <laughs> pretty much take anybody's suggestion about where to go because I have so many places that I'm currently wanting to go, go back to uh, different things I want to do. So I'm very clearly defined on that. Um, I might do something new when I'm on a trip and I meet somebody that just came from somewhere that I didn't have any idea that happened in Myanmar. I met someone who said, oh, you got to go to the, this is a wonderful, they didn't say you got to go. They just told me about a little mountain town I didn't know anything about. I went there and it was one of my favorite places in Myanmar, also known as Burma. So listen, I'm going to wrap this one up, but don't even answer the haters. Go do what you're doing. Live your life. Just do it.